Hey, this is a video for uh, someone who just bought a shitty eBay laser. I'm guessing your unit basically looks like this. Four screws on the front, four screws on the back, one on the top. Besides the mounting screws, one on the top rear. Uh, I removed the top rear. I removed the top front and rear on this side. I loosened the bottom two here. If you undo all the screws, this box falls right apart. So, uh, again, this one, these two. I pull this towards me slightly, and it'll uh, loosen up the top. There it goes. Uh, this has rails on the inside, both sides that this fits into. It also does on the bottom. Keep that in mind, in mind when you uh, pull this back, not to snap it or anything. Anyhow, let her get you in. Haha. <laughs> All right, now we're inside. Going to whoops. You all right? Now we're inside. Plug her in. Fire in the hole. All right. Shit. Quit shining out the window. Uh, one second, please. All right. Anyhow. Uh. Check to see. Uh, I'm use that or some paper. Check to see that your red in there is on. Just put something in front of it. You can see. Uh, I hope there's definitely a lot of red going on. And the green's prevalent. Right here is a dichrotic mirror. Green passes straight through. The red bounces. If this is out of an alignment, your green may not be passing through. If it's also out of alignment, the red might not be bouncing through. Don't hit the mirror. Uh, that fucking aperture in there. Uh, what else? These are usually glued. The actual mounts. Uh, sometimes you can find some screws. I've usually been able to finagle them into position. Uh, pretty much do it yourself, figure it out. Uh, but uh, those are going to be the parts you're dealing with. Be sure to lick this when it's on. It'll give you a great, great energizing feeling. And uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. But uh, I think your problem is with this aperture, clearing that aperture. And, uh, yeah, let me know.